Hello everybody, welcome to our Weekend Meals channel. For today, I will be showing you how to make egg meatloaf, a very popular side dish that you find in Vietnamese rice plate. So let's get started everybody. Okay, so right here we have the ingredients for making egg meatloaf. We have the vermicelli, which I already soaked in water. And we have the uh, wood ear mushroom, which I also soak in water. And right here I have salt, sugar, and mushroom seasoning. I have pork, onions, green onion and uh, red onion mix to make it one, half a cup. I have some garlic, and right here I have five large eggs. So, we're ready to make it. Next step, you'll be cutting this. Next, we're going to put in the salt, sugar, and the seasoning. The mushrooms. Then the, the onion, onion goes in. Okay, and the garlic. Okay. The pork, ground pork. So for the next step is cracking the eggs. Uh, I'm going to save three egg yolks uh, on the side. So for these two eggs, it's going to go directly into the big bowl. Now for this egg white, you're going to put it in here. So now we're going to whisk up the big bowl. Next step, I'm going to add one tablespoon of soy sauce. A tablespoon of fish sauce. And a tablespoon of oil. Vegetable oil, corn oil, up to you. Going to whisk that up one more time. Okay, so it looks like it's already evenly whisked up. Okay, what I'm going to do next is to brush the pan with some oil. I'm going to transfer what we mix into the pan. Is ready to go into the steamer. And let's steam this in high heat for about 20 minutes. Okay, so 20 minutes have gone by. The meatloaf is cooked. So the last thing we're going to do is to put this egg yolk right on top. At the beginning, we were we were talking about saving all the egg, this egg yolk on the side. So right now, we're going to use it. Okay, so now we're going to let it cook for another 5 minutes without covering the lid. That way the egg yolk will stay yellow and pretty for us. So here, so it, is. here it is. The egg meatloaf 
I have just removed from the steamer. I'm going to let it cool down a little bit before I cut 15 minutes until. All right, so here it is everybody. The meat loaf is done. I already cut it up and it's on the plate and ready to enjoy it. Thank you.